are something first, these are something that on the surface level no one have ever seen before. Down in the Lower East Side, you'll find galleries all over the place with one of a kind works of art. There's one that's taking an ancient art form and giving it a modern interpretation. At Huan Yan Art, their latest show, The Other Lines of Time, features a collection of Ji Zhang paintings. Curator Ray Wong describes what drew her to these pieces. It made me think about what defines art history and what defines the act of art creation. The artist Shen Yongping made the art using the traditional dry fresco technique. I'm a huge fan of fresco. When I was in Italy, we go to the Sistine Chapel and stare at the murals every day. And these are have these group of paintings have the texture of fresco, but not entirely same. These same types of work were created on cave walls in Dunhuang in the 4th century. Over 10 centuries, 900 caves were illustrated with murals and painted sculptures done by many members of the community. Through the art, audiences can see how history played out over thousands of years. This panel is a portrait of donors. So they are the sponsors of the caves. People pay um, for the artists and sculptors be like, I want to commission a cave. And it's really when how you see art and commerce get intertwined and how commerce became the influence how art is created. In the past, Dijong paintings were made by layering soil onto a rough surface to make it a paintable canvas. While Shen is a modern artist, he took inspiration and materials from the original murals in the caves. Several ten years ago, people rediscovered one of those original pigment cave, pigment mineral cave in near Dunhuang. And for this group of painting, these they use the same mineral pigment discovered in the original site. While these works come from China's desert, Ray is confident that the other lines of time will strike an interest with art lovers from around the world. When you actually learn more about these paintings, you kind of to understand your concept of history, the concept of time, the concept of artistic creation and a spiritual life even. And I feel like we wouldn't say Western audience or Chinese audience, but everyone. I feel like they would learn something in this painting about art, about the world, and maybe about themselves. The exhibition will be on display at Hua Yuan until October 14th. You can also visit their website, huayuanart.com. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Christy Clemens.